In his first bodybuilding competition in America, Arnold Schwarzenegger was pitted against Frank Zane in the finals of Mr. Universe. It was a tough competition, and their final showdown ended in a draw. But because Frank had more points from earlier in the day, he got the title. Arnold originally thought that the judging was rigged. After all, he was bigger and taller than Frank Zane. How could he lose to him? But as he thought about it more, he realized that he had failed. Not my body, but my vision and my drive. The week earlier, Arnold had just won his second Mr. Universe in Europe at age 21. He received a telegram inviting him to compete in Miami the next weekend. But upon preparing to go, they realized he didn't have a visa for America. He waited in the home of Colonel Shuster, an associate of bodybuilding legend Joe Weider, while the colonel went to the embassy to pull some strings. It took a week, but the visa arrived and he was off to America to compete. Arnold didn't have a problem with losing. That was out of his control. But he realized that while he was sitting around waiting for the visa, he could have done more to prepare, but didn't. I could have died the week before and not eaten so much fish and chips, he said. I could have found a way to train more, even without access to equipment. I had told myself I had just won Mr. Universe and I could let go. That was nonsense. Even though you won the professional Mr. Universe contest in London, you are still a fucking amateur. He decided from that moment on, he would never be an amateur again. That is one thing to lose, but it's another to not do your best. Don Miguel Ruiz explains in The Four Agreements that your best will change from moment to moment. We may not always succeed in being our ideal self, but it's important that whatever our best is at any moment, we give it. We can't control the outcomes of what happens, whether it's a bodybuilding competition, a test, or a job interview. The only thing that we can control is our output and the effort we give. What's in your control is to give everything that you have, but the outcome isn't in your control. Let that go. This loss was a major turning point in Arnold's mentality. And after this, he went on to become the greatest bodybuilder the world has ever known. From now on, if I lost, I'd be able to walk away with a big smile because I had done everything I could to prepare.